In this video, I'm going to show how to instantly relieve pinched nerve pain in the back and the leg. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Dr. Rowe coming to you from Spine Care in St. Joseph, Michigan. In this video, we're going to go over easy exercises that can help relieve sharp shooting pains in the back and the leg being caused from a pinched nerve. A note, each one of these exercises works just a little bit differently. To get the best results, go through them all and use what gives you the most relief. With that being said, let's get started. So an overlooked cause of nerve pain in the lower back and the leg actually comes from tight muscles. Over time, strain and inflammation can build into these muscles that can compress nearby nerves, leading to back pain and also things like sciatica down the leg. So here's a really easy way to help reduce a lot of that tension. What I'm going to do is lie flat on my back in bed or on a floor. Let's focus on the painful side. So let's say I have a lot going on on my right side. We're going to keep that side's knee bent while the other leg goes straight. Take your hands, grab right behind that bent knee. If this position is really hard to get into, to make it easier, just roll up a towel, place it behind your knee, and grab the two ends. But the first thing that you want to do is just make sure that your whole leg is nice and relaxed. From here, just grab the back of your knee and pull your knee towards your chest until you feel a light stretch form on the back of your thigh that works towards your glutes or your buttocks. Just a light stretch with this one because how we're going to deepen it is by holding this position and now slowly opening our knee like this, kind of straightening that like a kicking motion. Do this one slowly because that stretch gets deep very quickly. You want to go to a point where it is a deep but comfortable stretch. If you start to feel any pain or discomfort, especially sharp shooting pains into the leg, back off slightly. We're going to hold this position and now really take it to the next level by taking our foot and pressing it away from us as much as we can, kind of like pressing into a gas pedal. You're going to notice it hits the muscles just a little bit differently. Hold this for a second or two and then bring your foot back towards you as much as you can. Again, holding that for a second or two. Do this pumping motion forward and backward five times in both directions. And then from there, you're going to relax, take a breather. On the next repetition, try to build into it just a little bit more and repeat this three to five times. What this effectively is doing is flossing the sciatic nerve pathway, taking tension off the whole sciatic nerve from pretty much the back throughout the leg all the way down towards the foot. So another way that you can get a lot of muscle tension release is by doing what is known as a figure four. This one is going to target the glutes and the piriformis muscles, which are big instigators of both nerve pain in the back and the leg. What I'm going to do is lie flat on my back and have my legs roughly hip width apart, knees bent, feet flat. Whatever side that you're having the most amount of pain, let's say it's your right side, what you're going to do is take that side's ankle and place over your other side's knee, so when you look up, it should look like a figure four. Take this back leg and slide it towards you as much as you can until you feel a light, comfortable stretch form around the hip. That's how we know that we're activating the glutes and the piriformis muscles. From here, what I'm going to do is take this bent knee and slowly press it away from me, but don't use your hands. Instead, use your leg and hip strength. The more that you press into this, the more that you're going to feel those muscles around the hips start to activate. Hold this one comfortably for three to five seconds, release it, repeat this 10 to 15 times. And with each repetition, Try to build into it just a little bit more. And with this exercise, the figure four, I do recommend doing this on both sides just to help keep everything nice and loose. But go through both of those movements. You're probably going to find that one just helps you out a little bit more, offers more relief. At that point, it's an exercise that you can use throughout the day for quick nerve pain relief. So one of the absolute best ways to get instant pinch nerve pain relief is by doing a decompression traction exercise. Think of a deep opening stretch in the lower back that will open up joint spaces, quickly reducing pressure on bulging and herniated discs, the main cause of pinch nerves and sciatica. For this one, I'm going to be using the corner of a countertop. If you don't have a countertop like this, you can substitute it by using two sturdy chairs or two objects like tables or desks that are roughly 
hip height. So for this exercise, there's two different positions you can try. The first one is just sticking your butt right into the corner, but don't sit on the countertop. Or you can just have your front side facing it like this. In fact, I'd give them both a try. You'll probably find that one is a little bit easier for you to do. So let's break this exercise down. You're going to get a very good grip right at the edge of that countertop. And then what you're going to do is support your body weight on your arms. You're going to lift your legs up to the point where you then feel gravity pulling your body weight downward. And then you're just going to slightly support your body weight on the balls of your feet just like this. Just to the point where you still feel that pull, but your core back and your legs are able to relax. It's really important that we're not tensing any muscles throughout the body with this exercise. Instead, just let gravity pull it straight down, which will cause that deep opening stretch in the lower back. And it usually feels really, really good. During this time period, I just close my eyes. I do slow controlled breathing, just let out as much tension as I can. And then from there, I hold this for at least 30 seconds. If you're able to though, challenge yourself to hold it for longer, maybe 45 seconds or a minute. When you need a breather though, just come back up like this. So I would try to do this at least three to five times if you are doing 30 second holds, but if you're able to, do three to five minutes broken up into as many repetitions as you like. So to take this one to the next level, we can add in some hip movements that are going to open up the joint spaces a little bit more. So let's get back into our original position, but this time around what I'm going to do is just slowly take my hips from side to side, kind of like a pendulum motion. Again, you're going to notice that it opens up the back a little bit more. Another movement that you can do is a hula hoop circular motion. So I would do big wide circles as much as you can doing this counterclockwise and then switch it up and go clockwise. But go through all of these movements. You're probably going to find that one just really offers a lot of relief and maybe some movements don't feel the greatest at all. Focus on the ones that are offering more relief and at that point, spend more time in that position. Here's a really good decompression exercise that you can do right at the edge of a bed. Let's break this one down. What you're going to do is grab a pillow and place it right at the edge. Now position your body to the point where you're lying on your stomach and your upper body is supported by the bed, but your hips and your legs are right off the edge. Have your knees pointed straight towards the floor and then support your leg weight on your toes just like this. Take your arms and hands and slide them forward as much as you can and then grip into the bed with your fingers. Slightly tuck your chin towards your chest. In this position, relax your whole body. Don't try to tense any muscles. Instead, what you should feel is gravity pulling your leg weight downward towards the floor, opening up the back and it usually feels really really good. I like to hold this position for at least 30 seconds, but if it feels good, hold it for longer, maybe a minute or two, and just do nice, slow, controlled breathing. Let out as much tension as you can. When you need to relax, just come back up like this, but repeat this three to five times, or at least two to three minutes, broken up into as many repetitions as you like. If you would like to take this one to the next level and get a deeper stretch, this is what you can do. Take your fingers and crawl forward as much as you can because it will really deepen that stretch. But you can also add in a tilting motion to open up the back just a little bit differently. So instead of keeping your back straight, tilt it a little bit towards one side. So I'm moving through my lower back and I'm just tilting a little bit towards my left. What you're going to notice is it opens up the other side a little bit more. So experiment with different positions going towards the left and also towards the right. You're probably going to find that one spot just offers the most relief, and at that point, throw more repetitions in. So here's two really easy movements that can give pinched nerve pain relief in as little as 30 seconds. The first one is called standing back extension. For this one, you're going to start with your feet roughly hip width apart and place all of your body weight right on your heels. The first thing that I like to do is find the spot that's going to offer the most relief. So I take my hand and I cup around my pelvis just right around the belt line and then take my thumbs and press into the muscles off to the side of the spine. What you want to do is press into those muscles and then lean backward with your shoulders and upper back at the same time. This will put the lower back into extension which will quickly take pressure off bulging and herniated discs. 
Hold this for about five seconds and then release. On the next repetition, what you want to do is take your thumbs and go up just a little bit and then repeat this, doing this over the whole length of the lower back. What you're going to find is one certain spot that just offers the most relief. And at that point, we're going to stop over that spot. And now we're going to build into it. So we're going to do that stretch, but this time around, hold it for longer, 20 to 30 seconds. And then from there, just relax and repeat this three to five times. So another movement that you can do is what is called a wall lean. For this one, we just need something to lean into. A door frame or a wall works perfectly. The hardest part about this exercise is just knowing what side to place towards the wall or the door frame. So remember, good or non-painful side will be close to the door frame. So I'm going to demonstrate what to do if you have right-sided sciatica pain. What I'm going to do is put my feet together, space roughly a foot, foot and a half away from the door frame or the wall. And then I'm going to lean my shoulder into the door frame. And I'm going to make sure too that there's no space in between my shoulder and the door. It's flush against it, kind of like a suction cup. From there, I'm going to take the hand on the painful side and place it right over my hip. Now slowly press your hips towards the door, but do this one slowly because you're going to feel a deep stretch form over that painful side and it's going to quickly reduce pressure off that pinched nerve. Go to the point where it is comfortable and then hold this for 20 to 30 seconds. From there, release it, take a breather, and then repeat this three to five times. And with each repetition, try to build into it just a little bit more. If you would like to take this one to the next level and get a deeper stretch, all you have to do is space your feet further away from the wall. If the exercise has helped, please support the channel by giving this video a like and maybe subscribing too. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.